insane gamers, and I'm back again for another Pokemon 5th generation Wi-Fi battle, and I don't know why the seasons change when I go outside, that's kind of weird. But anyhow, maybe it's because this video is in four times speed, so I'm just going to hang out in this lady's kitchen and uh, watch this battle, because, you know, he's, she's making muffins or whatever. So anyway, I'm fighting somebody from uh, the Poke Battlers channel, which is sort of like Mosh Pit, except it's not really, because it's awesome. So he leads with this thing, and uh, I sort of misclicked, I meant to go for Thunder Wave, uh, I mean, I meant to go for Star Thorks, and I Thunder Wave. And it actually worked out because he was a Zoroark. I was just like, okay, well, um, uh, that sort of works out well for me. So I T wave a Zoroark, and there it is, it's a Zoroark, oh my gosh! Anyway, he withdraws it now and goes into a Weezing. And, uh, this Weezing was a bit of a pain, I'm gonna say that, because, you know, it's a freaking Weezing and stuff. So he talks to me, I guess he was thinking I would switch, but I'm just gonna paralyze it since I can't poison it, so, you know. I don't think I can burn it either. I don't have any whispers on this team. So he goes into this thing, and oh my god, it's a Jalorda. Holy crap, this is going to be annoying. Anyway, it glares me, which isn't that much of a big deal. I would have T-waved it, but I thought he was going to use sub right off the bat. So now he goes for the sub, and I T-wave. And, um, crap, crap, crap. Oh, wait a minute, Mage Seed? Okay, then, it's obviously a sub seed set, which is about ten times as worse. Mostly because it's just stally, but luckily I do have a counter to it. I have, well, first I'm going to break his sub here with uh, Hi Hi Daruma, and uh, then I'm going to go into my super duper double awesome chocolate coated counter! Uh, anyhow, here it comes! It's, 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 it's Tangrowth! Yeah, you got a Geruda? That's just fine with me. Also, I don't really care if this thing is paralyzed, it's slow anyway. I mean, it's bulky, so... He goes into that thing, and, uh, I Sludge Bomb. Actually, does a decent chunk. My, uh, my Tang Earth is Choice Bags, so... I'm gonna switch out now and go into my Noob Time, because it's time to noob it up. Anyhow, we Pain Splits. I didn't really see that one coming, but it doesn't really do much anyway, so whatever. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use Psychic, and, uh, hopefully... I was hoping it would kill, but it doesn't, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this? I don't even... How did that live? Ridiculous. So anyhow, he uh, gets a toxic on me. It always seems in every battle that this freaking dragon is toxic. I don't know why. Anyhow, I went for the ice beam because I thought he would switch out to uh, Zoroark or something. And uh, he switches out to this thing. And I switch out because I know he's probably packing the Custat Barrier. So I just go to this guy, predicting a Stone Edge, but then he predicts my switch and goes out to a Water. Oh my god, how many times poor is hard to narrate? Jesus. So he uh, uses uh, the Swords Dance, dances with swords, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and paralyze it just to make it basically useless. Anyway, here comes the Waterfall, and because uh, i got the ability sturdy, I'm going to endure that hit, and I'm just going to get a Discharge off. It does, um, yeah, quite a lot, I've got to say. So I'm going to switch out to Vine with me now, because I can take any attack. And then I'm going to switch out again, predicting the Mega Horn, and uh, he misses. So it seems like every time I switch, I get the hacks, which is, you know, pretty redonkulous. So I stayed in. I mean, no, 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 no. Never mind. I'm. I. <laughs> that's. That's this turn. I used um, super mystery sword, and then I stay in, thinking I'm faster. And then he glares me, and I'm like, crap! You've made my horsey sad, cause now it's crippled, and it's gotta be in a wheelchair. So anyway, I switch back into my super duper awesome chocolatey coated counter here, and he basically he can't leech seed me, he can't do anything, and I just froze the video. Hold on. Anyway, sorry about that if it's a little bit off, but, um, I kind of hit the wrong button, you know. We all hit buttons that are incorrect every now and then, so, uh, anyhow, predicting his switch or just doing something, I went for the, uh, Giga Drain, and he goes into a Zoroark, I guess just Death Fodder. Then he goes into the real deal, and, uh, I just stayed in, I was just like, whatever, he's gonna pain split, whatever, just get some damage, whatever. So, um, I think it's time to switch on out now, because, you know, wheezing and stuff. So I'm gonna go back into noob time, because I'm pretty sure that, you know, he can't do anything. And he goes for the clear smog, which is pretty freaking awesome. That's a good move to have on a wheezing. So I'm pretty sure I can finish him off with a psychic, so I'm gonna go for an, I for an ice beam instead, just because I can. And uh, he switches into a Shandera, which sort of sucks for me. I kind of wish I had gone for Frozen World, but... You know, what are you going to do? So, switch out this guy, go into my nose, just as Death Fodder, because I was thinking maybe he's, he's probably Scarf or something, so, you know. Um, 
anyhow, send in my big pecs now, because I've got some big pecs all up in here. You can't hurt me. So I do knock off his choice scarf. Of course, it's, you know, choice scarf. Every single one of them is. But luckily, they uh, this particular one does not have uh, shadow fag. So anyway, he misses the purgatory, that which is a really cool attack, by the way. It's a, basically a fire-type zap cannon. And in comes this thing. Like, I did not want a whirlwind that out into this. So I just go back into super duper chocolatey coated vine with me here to counter it and uh, he's gonna hope for a parahex and I'm gonna hope that I don't get parahex because I need to kill this thing because it's being a royal pain in the butt. I just want it to die. It's a freaking snake thing and it's really annoying me now. Okay, okay, please. And its Japanese name is Superior, which is really cool. So I don't know why he leech seeded there. I mean, I would have giga drained, but you know, that's him. So he goes into this thing, and I'm like, crap, we're both paralyzed. So I'm going to go back into Mega Meryl because, you know, um, the whole Mega Horn thing. And I basically wall him, so I get paralyzed, and he gets paralyzed, and he waterfalls me. Doesn't do that much. Then he aqua jets me. Still doesn't do that much. So I'm able to finish him off with a hydro pump because I thought he was going to switch into a Shandera and be like, lols, fighting attack equal. Was no. Anyway, he goes into Shandera now, and uh, he's just gonna finish me off with an energy ball. There was no point in keeping Mega Meryl around. It was just paralyzed and crippled. So I'm gonna go into High Hydruma. You turn and finish this guy off. <laughs> Cause that's really all the high this High Hydruma does is just you turn. So go back into Vine with me, and he's only got this thing left. I. No, 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 I am wrong, he's got two guys left, look at this, uh, so, um, he goes into this thing, I'm just gonna go back into noob time, cause it's time to noob it up, people, oh yeah, he gets parahexed again on my switch, look at that, I love them hex, so, um, I guess I'm gonna finish this guy off now with an ice beam, uh, and he's got one Pokemon after this, it's that big rock type demon thing, the big, um, um, Gigalith, that's what it's called, oh, hi there, hi there, Gigalith, so, obvious Custat Berry is obvious, and there it is, so I decided to switch this to an into Tangrowth to take the obvious rock type attack like a beast, so yeah, I take that attack like a beast, and he have a bo heavy bombers does even less, and, um, good game, I'll put your channel link in the description, and make sure you go check him out, so I will see you guys next time.